static methods. So the whole idea behind something being static is that it's attached to a class rather than an instance of a class or an object. So by the end of this video, you should understand the concepts and then we'll get in the hands-on in the next one. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So when you visualize object-oriented programming, you might think of something like this. You have a class, and then you make instances of this class, which are known as objects. When you define a method in the class, every time you instantiate this class into an object, that method is made available. So for example, you might have a user class, and one of these methods might be talk, right? And that's going to basically do an output saying the person's name and their information or something like that. So how would you do that with an instance method? By the way, an instance method is kind of the opposite of a static method because it's attached to the instances. You would do something like this. You would create an instance, call it you, and then you would say you dot talk. It's on the instance, so one particular object. A static method, on the other hand, would be on the class directly. So it would look like this, where we say user, the class, dot, and then put the method directly there. We don't have to do it on an instance. So that is the difference between a static method and an instance method. Now in the next video, we're gonna get some hands-on creating static methods. So go check that out, should be pretty helpful. And don't forget to subscribe.